Welcome guys. In this session of Katia, we are going to design a clutch lever. As you can see, it's top view and it's sectional view. So let's just get started with our work. First, we will design the small portion, this part and rest of the part afterwards. So invoke the part design workbench for solid modeling of clutch lever and select XY plane and invoke a sketcher. As you can see that outer radius is 16, this side 32, this side 32 and its height is 70 and inner cut is of 50 and at a distance of 38. So let's just design this first. So invoke the profile. and just say it is of the length 32 okay zoom it little bit and give it 32 and finish the profile invoke the circle and give it radius of 16 that will be 32 dia and the inner one is of 8 means 16 there so we are done with it let's just trim the unnecessary part of sketch yes okay now we are done with it exit the sketcher and invoke pad and its height is 70 that's why 35 and mirror to extent on both sides now we need a cutout so let's just invoke zx plane and invoke sketcher once again first we will use the construction lines so that it will be easy for us invoke the rectangle fifty and say fifty and we are done with it so specify the distance and this just of 10 okay so let's just exit the workbench and use the pocket So we are done with it. Now let's just draw another that is 66 dia and 40 dia and its height is 32 and it is at the distance of 199 from this circle. So let's just invoke XY plane once again invoke the sketcher. So outer radius is 66 outer dia is 66 so let's just give it 33 radius and inner is of 40 that means 20 okay we are done with it and the distance is 199 and 32 so 
first of all we will use the construction lines and specify one point reference point at the center of that construction circle and specify the distance between both of them that is 199 so exit the workbench and invoke the pad and let's just say 32 means 16 on both side and here it is now what we are left with is is the middle portion so let's just invoke once again xy plane and invoke the sketcher and specify the outer circle and here also now let's just draw one line and what we see it's having the radius of 30 so let's just draw a corner and give it a radius of 30 so here it is let's just trim it the unnecessary portion that we don't need and mirror the rest of the portion on the other side now let's just complete this circle and trim it once again and check whether they are not coinciding as if they are coinciding there will be an error so once we have given the tangent now it's not coinciding and rest what we can see is the angle is 7 degrees so let's just give the angle and its thickness is 16 so first we will give the angle between the two define constraint and say angle and as you can see it's 3 just give it a 7 degree and we are done with it so a sketch is complete exit the workbench and give it a thickness of 8 and say just mirror to the extent once we are done with it now select this one so that we can create the elongated pocket along the feature so as you can see its distance from the center to here is 53 and it's 90 millimeters long and 14 so let's just we'll need a construction and specify one point and let's just elongated pocket okay and give it a length of 90 and give it a radius of 7 that means 14 so we are done with it
okay and this to specify is 53 and 90 so it's 53 and center to center distance is 90 so it's 90 and okay exit the workbench now create the pocket through pocket give it 16 and select it preview it's through and we are done with it now the last part of it is left clutch lever is R6 rounding so just round the car 1 2 3 and 4 edges so select the edge fillet and select one two three four and give it six radius so here is our clutch lever as per our 2D. Thank you.